afternoon everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Crystal and it is Saturday afternoon. Um, I took Max out this morning. I did a video and I accidentally deleted it. So I'm going to do a video this afternoon. I've been at home most of the morning apart from taking Max out for a walk. Um, I'm not the only person that has to deal with stupid police and them not doing anything. I've just been listening to a podcast with Abby Mills in it, who suffered extreme abuse after appearing on a reality show, uh, First Dates. And I've just been listening to an over an hour of a broadcast about how trolls and people... Um, reacted to her on first dates and how that the, the TV crew and whatnot edited they edit you see they edit when you go on reality TV they edit it and they make they want to make it look juicy they want to make it look good and sometimes a person could be portrayed in a bad light and you know this poor woman got trolled and got threats and all sorts of things because first dates had edited it and it made abby to look like the villain and she wasn't so reality television can be extremely harmful um but the police they just don't help at all, do they? I've just been listening to an over an hour's broadcast of what this poor woman's gone through. And I can't believe it. <laughs> but it puts you off wanting to go on television, I can assure you. Absolutely terrible. Appa apparently she got... Um, She's beautiful. She's got hair right down her back. She's lovely. And she got vile abuse from trolls, sending her pictures of horses' teeth, apparently. It's how the TV show was uh, put on the television. They showed all the bad bits of it. Right, so I'm going out and we'll see what happens today. So other people get it, they get it, the police don't do anything. I'm just going to pick up the dog and go out of the door. And uh, hopefully I won't delete this video. Cooler today, it's one one fifty nine guys. One minute to uh, to two. I haven't been on reality TV shows. I haven't I've never appeared on television. I've never appeared on a reality show, but I have had someone else tell me no post today, Saturday look. That's my post box number five. Nothing in there at all. So out we go. Oh my god, we've got a giant lampshade in here now. Giant lampshade. 
dog cage, lampshade, wood, microwave oven, grey swivel chair. I'm just going to throw this bag of rubbish in the bin because I missed, I, I deleted my video this morning. There's going to be a fire in here before long. Look at the state of it. That's dangerous. Let's go. Let's go this way. It's over here. So I went out yesterday. I went to the dentist. And I'm... I've, I've got shopping. I've got food. But bullies, I mean, really. I've been listening to that for over an hour and a half. Abby Mills, it was on first dates. Drives people to actual near suicide, self harming themselves, bullying, trolling. I've never been on the television, never. I'm a woman, and it's uh, nice. No, well, I just wanted to hear someone else's experiences about coping with things and trolling and abuse and it's it's absolutely horrific <laughs> so I haven't got my cap on today I bought I bought a load of I bought two caps from Primark yesterday. I haven't brought got my cap on. I haven't got it on. Oh, that car just drove out. That car just drove out in front of that car. on the train yesterday <laughs> one stop All right, the Derek lookalike is on the seat on the bench the Derek lookalike looks like my dad from when he was younger let's get up here someone coming down the path This way is a good boy. Good lad. So you've got the, the Derek lookalike sat on the bench up there. Throws a ball on a stick to his dog.
been out uh, approximately 10 minutes. My mum has basically said to me that she's not going to send any more money out and that um, just to see, to see my mum once a week and she's not going to be sending any more money out which is fair enough so I wasn't expecting any post told me that anyway, she told me that when I was up there, that she wouldn't be sending any more money in the post, I've told her not to do that anyway, I've told her not to do it. I was li listening to this woman's life story as well. It wasn't just about the reality TV show, it was a life story. And how she was used um, being offered cocaine for free to start with. So she got offered cocaine free to start with. And then they start asking you to sleep with them. <laughs> so, fortunately for me, I haven't got in involved in drugs. But that guy that tried to chat me up on this field was, at, you know, was talking to some undesirable people. <laughs> So a smoker, an ex-alcoholic. But yeah, TV can screw your head up, can't it? I mean, it's how you're portrayed. And I know for a fact they edit stuff out of it. Make you look the bad guy, look. So there's Luna darting across the field. Luna, the black dog, darting across the field. I see Taylor Swift's song in America. One of them is called The Black Dog. Taylor Swift. has released a song called The Black Dog. My surname's Marshall. Not Taylor. Although when I've been reporting things to the housing and to the police and when you give the perpetrator's name and all their details and the police and the housing do nothing about it, as in the case of my father, where's all this information going? One day that dog is going to do serious harm to somebody, it's going to fucking run into someone's bad leg or something. They yeah, just don't care.
I'm not going up to them. If that dog comes to me and, try, and knocks me over or jumps on my back, I'm not, I'm not going over to them. I know what they're doing. They've been doing it for the four years I've lived down here. Trying to frighten me to stay indoors because they do it. They're doing underhand shit. <laughs> so you listen to other people's stories. And you uh, realise it's not just you that's going through it or has gone through it. Other people have as well. <laughs> the guy who walks around with that dog used to let that dog jump all over me. The dog's called Luna, short for lunatic. And it runs all over the place and it jumps on top of you. But uh, last, time it, last time the dog came over to me, it'll probably do it again in a minute. I said, no, Luna. She stood on the mound over there. She stood on the top of that hill and this dog is just running all over the place. If that dog bit someone or jumped on someone, what could she do? Stood over there miles away from it. Not a lot. So you can hear people shouting in the distance. Oh God. Glad I'm not down there. Strews, you can hear it. This world's a nasty place. There's a boat going over there. That's nice.